I wish to create a weld bead around this end cap to the pipe. So I'm going to select weld bead. The weld bead properties manager will right away tell me I'm starting to create my first weld path, or in this case my second, that's why it's added to. I have several options here. The first one is kind of neat. I can click on what looks like the welding torch, the smart welding selection tool. And then I can come out here and I can click and I can hold my mouse down and drag along where I want the weld. Essentially creating a 3D sketch. As soon as I release the mouse the system will see where I want the weld and it will create a preview and it will select the faces. So it has recognized what faces are on the first part and what faces are on the second part. If I had continued to drag that all the way around the end cap I would have created my weld bead there. I'm going to clear these selections. The other option I have, I'll turn off the welding tool. I can choose welded geometry. This is great for when I have three parts coming together such as maybe a gusset inside here and I want to tell it to weld the gusset to these two pipes or I can use the welded path where it works well when we just have two parts being welded together. I'll set my weld size here. Let me get a two millimeter weld. And I'll click back in the box to select my geometry. On my end cap I'm going to right click on this line and tell it to select the loop. If it selects the wrong loop, I just click on the yellow arrow and it'll change to the other loop that I want. And that has created my welding path. To define my weld symbol, I click define weld symbol. SolidWorks will see that I put two in the size here and populate it here. And if I go to the weld symbol, it'll see a fillet weld would be the appropriate one here and make it as the default and I'll accept that. Because I've gone all the way around, I don't need to turn on the periphery. I'll select OK. And I'll see the welding symbol populate here. I have other options. If I turn on the from to length, I can change the length. So it starts at zero and it's telling me the perimeter length is 212.28. So I can change this to 150 to back the weld up. I can switch the direction it goes. So I can take the long path or the short path. This will remove 150. This will weld for 150 mil. I can also make it an intermittent weld by setting the gap in weld length or the pitch in weld length. So here it's chosen a weld length of 10.61 and a gap of 10.61. I don't want these options so I'm going to disable them for my weld and accept this selection.